on the one hand, it's been really, really negative, you know, seeing the elements in our society that really reject um, the, our newcomer communities and are really willing to take out all their frustrations on those below them rather than the people actually responsible. But on the other hand, it's been a really positive uprising of people. I mean, look at the numbers of people here today. Last night, the negative side, I suppose, was outnumbered massively. The positive message is starting to get through. And the reality is, sometimes online it seems like things are maybe evenly balanced or even tipped in favour of the people who reject our, our newcomer communities. But a lot of those people, I think, are bots. They're not real. They can't turn up in real life. So in real life, actually, this is what Belfast stands for. I live here nearly about 23 years. Uh, first time I see it in my life. I was happy here. So many friends in North Ireland never have no problem, nothing. But I, what I see last week is not nice for nobody from around the world. I know UK and North Ireland this is a country of tolerance between all the religion, poor Islam, Christianity and Judaism. But what I saw here in, in Belfast, um, it's, the, it's not good for the image, from international image of UK and North Ireland. Uh, but I am sure it will, it will end very fast. <laughs> It's been horrendous. I think all of us have been very shocked by it. Um, but I think for us anyway, last night and tonight in particular, are such brilliant examples of when communities come together and organise themselves. They really can stand up to nearly anything, you know. And that goes for communities right across the board.
in private property, the banks, the big businesses. We say no trust in the police, no trust in the politicians. The other week, and knowing that there are people on, on the... It's not those in small boats, clean their lives. ...who have escaped from all sorts of horrors and then have to go through this again. Given the violence that people witnessed in the city centre from their side last week, for people to have the bravery and come out and go, OK, here we are, you know, we will stand against you, I think is extraordinary. So many more of us. There's so many more of us. Couldn't not come down, really, could we? Because um, it was so shocking last weekend and particularly the fact that it was whole people so it's solidarity to show that whole people aren't like that that's not a representation well i just wanted to stand up to whatever happened last week it's um, unacceptable it doesn't represent us uh, we're not those people and uh, just wanted to show our face and be like we support this side this is us this is every national and local in all sorts of towns and cities I'm in compassion and solidarity. today because I don't want to live in a society that's ruled by hate or has any space for hate. I think that um, we're all one people and we need to come together and show compassion to one another and live, create a society of kindness and compassion. You'll win this, they won't win. That's as simple as that. I just want to show my support for everybody. Yes, to show the people that, that this is not us. This right wing upsurge is not us.